as we're just a few days away from the launch of Mosaic of Light, Joe and I thought we'd have a face-to-face -face meeting, which is a bit unusual for us. Most of what we do over the, is over the internet, um, to discuss how things are going and where we're going. Um, but before we go on with that, how do you plan your story and how does it evolve? Planning, planning, I don't. Um, I start with something intangible really, it's just an atmosphere sometimes. And then it unfolds and evolves as I write. I'm part of the story and I find out what happens as I type it. Which is where we have one or two problems occasionally because I do the complete opposite. Come up with an idea, work through how I'm going to get to the type of finish and get to the finish. Which probably accounts for why I don't write as much as quite as much as you do. Well, if I did that and I knew what was going to happen before I wrote it, it probably wouldn't keep me interested enough and right. I would just stop writing it. But because I don't know what's going to happen and it's always a surprise and I don't know what's waiting for expression, then it's something unexpected and it keeps me interested all the way through. Mm, I can see that. So what gets you started? What sort of inspires you to write? Uh, mathematics and symbols and the cosmos generally and uh, the awareness of our place in it. Um, that and music is something that comes through quite a lot sometimes, um, but also the environment, nature itself, things like mountains and quiet glades and forests and the feelings you get when you're there, um, and also the subtle energies themselves, you know, working with universal energy and crystals and synchronicities and how they feel and how they affect life generally. It's that word synchronicity frequently crops up and has cropped up since almost since we first met It's many one of years the things ago. that um, has been quite a foundation, yeah. And, and it's one of the things that, I mean, again, we, my concept for writing is that I will something, a word or a, a few lyrics, something like that, or a picture on the television or being something that will suddenly spark something off to, to start writing. There is that as well. I mean, with fiction is we have a photo, don't we? Yeah, we get a um, photo. And with Writer's Circle we have a, a sentence title or a word or something and that you you're then told to write something for that, so you, you get used to doing that. I've started getting more into sort of um, legends and things recently. I've got a little book that I pick up some ideas of legends from that. And I've started enjoying changing a few Celtic legends to, to suit my needs. So when you're writing, do you actually listen to music? or? I do sometimes if it's longer stuff, um, not if it's a hundred words or so, but anything longer, short stories or novels. But it's something that I it's something that I'm familiar with, so I can kind of tune it out, and it works on me at a different level to the to the sort of conscious one. So, for instance, when I was writing the Cordello Quest, it was Carnatica and Muse, two quite different rock bands. But every time I listen to them now, I'm taken straight back to certain scenes writing the book because it's indelibly linked to those two albums. Yet again, we're so different. <laughs> When I start listening to music, I get so totally involved in the music. If I, even whether it's modern music or stuff that I picked up some 40 years ago, I will still get too involved in the music to write. I cannot have anything. I've got a, got a quiet room and I've got to sit in there and, and write. I can make notes, but when I come to actually putting it together, I have to have my quiet. Well, part of it for me is tuning out anything else that's going on because if I can hear voices or something else that's repetitive and perhaps annoying, then I'm taken out of the world that I'm in and I need to be completely in it. If we go back to our first book, The Cordello Quest, difficult question, but who was your favourite character in that? I really do like Charles and Jason because they are similar, but they also have their differences, of course, being from two different worlds. But I think, I have to admit, my favourite is probably Lady Aida, hmm. just because she's... Well, she came through very strongly as a character right from the start. She's quite demanding. If she's got lines ready, she'll basically say, get down and write them, will you? And she doesn't sort of, she's not very patient. No. But she's a bit scary as well. From, she appeared in the book almost as a complete character. There's the, she didn't really seem to develop. And as you said, scary. Well, she is centuries old, so, you yeah. know, she hasn't got an awful lot of character development left to do, really. <laughs> True, true. But she was there from the start and scary. I understand she's met you in one or two scary places. Certainly some inconvenient ones. <laughs> we'll leave it at that, yeah. shall we? Yeah. So, when you're writing, how do you do it? Do you write with a pen or are you uh, keyboard? Before we wrote the novel, when I was just writing with that direction, I wrote longhand and very pretentiously I thought, oh, I'm a writer, I write on paper, I couldn't possibly use a keyboard, blah, blah, blah. Load of rubbish. To write, at the sp to write the quantity I write, 
in any sort of reasonable length of time, it has to be a keyboard because it's much faster. And collaborating as we do, then I have to because you can't possibly ask someone to <laughs> read something you've written by hand and then edit it and feedback on it and of course then upload it to the publishing hub. So it is just much more practical to type it. And of course, from my point of view, nobody can read my writing anyway. True. Let alone me read my writing. <laughs> it's difficult for anybody else to read my writing. I mean, I do make notes. I mean, I've got a pad beside my bed and I've got a pad that I carry around in my um, shoulder bag. So I've always got paper, pen and paper with me. You have to. Yeah, because you never know when an idea is coming up. Exactly. Right, well, I think we'll finish there and look forward to comments coming back on the new Mosaic of Light. Hope you enjoy it.